There are many different kinds of assessment processes in the world, psychology tests and aptitude tests, but almost all of them do something very different from what's required to find out your core gift. Almost all of those tests ask a series of questions and then based on the answers you give, they describe the essential qualities in you. They tell you who you are. To find your core gift, you have to ask yourself a lot of questions, but you can't depend on anyone else to tell you what that is. It's up to you to decide. And so we've been working for 20 years on a process now um, that asks you questions, and then based on the information you give, you organize it in three or four different ways, and it ends up with you telling yourself what your core gift is. And that's important for three reasons. The first is that it's very empowering for you to have an awareness that you developed yourself about your primary purpose in the world. The second reason it's really useful is that our core gift, this most meaningful thing, usually comes out of some rough patch in our life. So if I have been made to feel not welcome uh, by a member of my family, I might have a core gift of welcoming. If I have always had a hard time getting motivated and I've gotten really stuck and that's been a hard thing for me and I overcome that, I would have a gift for helping other people to be motivated. So our core gift usually comes out of some difficult time in our life. And the third reason that it's really useful is that we love to do it. It's not a should or it's not a when I have time. We love to do it. We can't wait to do it. So for those three reasons, when you know your core gift, it's one of the most beneficial things uh, that you can know about yourself during the course of your life. I've always been interested in what people do when they're at forks in the road. Why do people choose this over that? And what I know is the core gift interview describes the primary path in a person's life. It doesn't tell them what's going to happen tomorrow. It doesn't tell them what kind of job to get specifically, but it provides a general path for the person to go down where they can be sure that what they do, whatever they finally decide is going to have meaning for them and they'll find the life that's meant for them.